Hello, yeah, this is Delusional here. I am doing another matchup analysis with Yoshimitsu in mind. The player to the left is Yoshimitsu. They're at red ranks, at Garyu level. The victor to the right is Mighty Ruler rank. So with these kinds of videos, what I do is that I tend to analyze exactly what the Yoshimitsu is trying to go for, what they could have done in the situation, and what they done correctly during the fight. I would also attempt to try to control the character here and there to see what you could have done during a situation so that that way you could have improved on your own gameplay as well. Essentially stealing what I'm doing or what the opponent is doing if they do something correctly in game. So let's start. Ooh, nice, that Manji Boo costume. All right, so first thing that what happens now is that the victor goes for his power crush. His power crush is minus nine, so he's safe. I don't know why they made it safe, but it's safe. The Yoshimitsu player decides to go for back two. Now back two is 14 frames on startup. So if he would have used his back two, he would have hit the victor. But since he's using his power crush, he would have gotten hit. So in this case, he got out of it too late. So he ended up blocking the, the power crush. Wait, I, I could be wrong here. Maybe he did it a little later. But since here, he ended up going for his back two, two. Let's see, I believe it's minus 13. Yes, minus 13. But his power crush is 15 frames from startup. So he pressed buttons right here. And the left corner, you can see in the command HUD that he ended up doing forward four. He attempted to use his own power crush. But the thing about power crushes in the game, and I'm sorry that I'm pausing. I'm gonna I'm pause a lot, so if you don't like that, you can click off the video, that's not, that's not on me. Either way, uh, if you do a forward four, in this case with Yoshimitsu, a power crush, since he's minus nine, he is safe. He attempted to go for his forward four as well, I guess to, just to spite the guy to do it as well. At the first nine frames of the power crush, if they hit you during those nine frames of startup, you'll get hit out of your power crush. So in this case, since he used it very early and the victor went for his back one plus two, his power crush, he ended up hitting the Yoshimitsu out of the power crush. Goes for his command grab. He could have broken it with a 1 plus 2. So if we go back. Right here. So he hits him. Okay, goes for the command grab. So I'm going to control the character right now. And again, all you need to do is just press 1 plus 2. See? You just press 1 plus 2. Sorry that I paused it that way. And you can break the grab. So let's go back again. Nice. He goes for his perfumer. And I'm assuming he's trying to go for the low. But he ended up getting hit by the wake up low kick. And since he's already in a crouching state, he goes for wall standing 3-2. And he pressed buttons. So that means he gets counter launch from here. Ah, oh, but he messed up. He got his down 2-2, two, two, but you see that he's spamming it on the left uh, command HUD. You see? He's just spamming it. He's not being patient enough. Okay, at least he goes for a full crouch down 3. Catch him off guard. Does it again, but since he now is ready for it, he ends up blocking the second hit. That's not safe. He, he's minus 12. So he could have used a wall standing four because he is in a crouching state, the victor. But he instead he goes for a wall standing, what is it, one? Which is 15 frames on startup, but it's 16 frames at disadvantage. So he goes for his up forward three, which is 15 frames. So he catches him off guard since he can get the launch. Okay, good. I don't know what he was trying to go there. I'm guessing from the command that it says that he's going for down back one. Uh, I guess he was trying to go for his low, but he did the dick jab. Okay, press buttons there. He's being too impatient. Okay, he gets hit there. Amazing from the victor. Goes for a wake up low kick again. And then decides to go for the wall sending 3-2 one, one more time. But this guy was ready for it. Went for the power crush. I don't know what he tried to go right there. Goes for another low kick. This time he does not go for the wall sending 3-2, goes for a up back uh, backflip, goes for 3, decides not to go for the 3-1. If he did and he didn't crouch, 
to evade it, he would have been plus seven. So he would have been actually uh, able to frame trap the victor and then go for something right there. But he doesn't. Nice block from the down one. Again, hints of spamming the power crush. Victors love to do this. They love to power crush. And then goes for that. Ends up killing the Yoshimi. So he had a lot of opportunities there to kill, but messed up. Okay, so here he again decides to go for a back 2-2, but he ended up going for his... What was it? 1-1? One, one? Nice. Go for down ones. He messes up. Ends up evading it by ducking the second hit. I believe it was second hit, right? No, no, he didn't evade it. I just didn't see it correctly. He ended up getting hit by down 1-1. One, one. But then the second time, he ended up blocking the first hit. That's why he's pressing buttons. He doesn't know what to do here. That's safe. 1-1 one, one is safe. At minus 9. It's safe at minus 9. But he's still pressing buttons here. See, he's, go for, he's going for down forward 1. And then he spams down forward 4. Into a down 4. I, I think he was attempting to go for a down 4. But the way that it looks like to me, it looks like he was just spamming the 4. Goes for another command grab. They didn't break with a 1 plus 2. Goes for another setup. The same setup again. But it catches the victory. This time he doesn't fail. He actually performs the combo. That's a pretty decent combo. In my opinion, I would have just done 3, 2, 1 plus 2 instead. Okay. Nice back threes. Okay. And I don't know why he went for 3, 2, 1 plus 2. He could have just gone for 3, 1. 3, 1 would have worked and gotten him to hit the heat engager. And he gets a good block on the low, but it decides not to go for a actual launch. So I'm going to show you what he should have done here because actually wait, let's continue forward before I show you guys. Okay, so he fails there. Does get that though. Goes for the heat engager and he almost got killed. And I think he wins the round here, but this is what he could have done in the fight. So let's go one more time. Okay, blocks it, and it's minus 14, so the victor could have actually punished him, but he didn't. And then, I'm going to control the character right here. And there we go. That's what he could have done right there, and he would have won the round. If not that, he could have done this as well. And there you go. Dead as well. An easier combo. Doesn't require as, you know, to drop back down and do flash if he ends up messing it up. And he could have done also this one, I think. Let's see if this one also works. There you go. Th that as well if he wanted to. Any particular type of combo, as long as he does the wall standing 2-1 into whatever he could have gone for bigger damage and killed the round there but now he messed up he ends up blocking it of course he does that and he could have gone for bigger damage if he just went for a wall standing to one for the launch and the reason why i'm saying that he could have done that instead was that if he did that and managed to get hit right here if he ends up messing up from not doing the combo instead then he would have lost the round but he wins it right here Okay, they're both back backpedaling. They don't know who's gonna hit who. Goes for three, but doesn't follow up with the one. I don't understand. Decides to go for three slide four, but on block, this means that he is disadvantaged. So, right there, you saw, he got hit. If you're doing your three slide four, just so that I can explain to you guys, don't do this right here, what he just did right there. Just do this instead. Just go for three slide four. If they block it, don't hold up until you know for sure that you got the hit confirmed off of the opponent. Just hold back once you have done three slide four because it's safe on block. But if you go into Manji stance or Dragonfly stance, as it's called, then they will hit you out of the air. Okay, the video didn't know what to do there, but since they're both new with their characters, they just learning here and there. It goes for another low wake up kick. Nice, that's actually uh, decent. If he got a little closer, he would have hit the victor, or either he would have blocked it. 
going into Kencho forward two. Goes into his power crush again. This time, I would have assumed he would have went for the command grab. I would have gotten hit there, actually, in my opinion. I would have gotten hit. Or either that, I would have flash ducked to at least see if he was going to go for the uh, command grab. But in this case, he ended up going for a mid. And he ended up ducking, so he was looking for the command grab. Press buttons again. Love this move at low ranks. Does he mess it up? Uh, he opts to just do that instead, but he still messes up the combo. Well, well kind of. Pretty cool. Right? He could have, if he went to flee, the victor would have gone hit unless they go for power crush. Like right there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, uh, messes up. He decides to go for that. Nice! He ducked the. Ooh. He could have actually launched though. If he one more time. Again, just do something like this. Oh, I messed up. I messed up now. <laughs> Either way, he could have done just done that to launch him, but I guess he didn't know that. Again, power crush, man. And there's like, I love Victor actually. I want to main this character as like a second main, as Yoshimitsu being my primary main, but frick bro, like whenever I see a player play Victor and all they just like to do is power crush, power crush, power crush, the, the, the less I like the character because of that reason. Okay, it goes for the command grab setup. Again, the same setup, I feel like I'm playing, I'm seeing the same playthrough at the first round. He the same situation too! He messes up again! He goes for down 2-2 and that's the same situation where he ends up whiffing and going for the dick jab instead. Now he gets caught by his wall standing 1, getting launched. Man, how, you, how can you dislike Victor, bro? Like when you see his combos, they're so slick. He takes out the katana and all that shit, all that weeb shit. I like that shit, bro. Nice fucking setup right there. And he loses. Man, I wanted to see him win. I don't think if I want to leave it at that, though. Let's go for... Let's find somebody else. Okay, let's look at this guy here. Perspective. Alright, so we're looking at another guy now. Against Steve. He's a tender you heading to my ruler rank, so he might be a little bit more adjusted to the character, uh, unlike with the previous player. So let's see exactly what this guy does. Okay. Okay, does back 3-3. Three, three. I guess he was waiting to see if the Steve was gonna go throw out some highs. Decides to go for back threes. Goes for back 2-2. Two, two. Ends up whiffing the back two though, but then the Steve decided to attack. So he got caught by the last two into the heat engager. Let's see what he does now. Nice, it's a pretty good choice. Going for up forward two to go for the low. And goes for up forward one plus two, the command grab. Smart. And this is a counter command grab because he ended up trying to attack. Another up forward two, smart. And again? Okay, this guy actually understands uh, how to mix up with Yoshimitsu at least. Okay, does the same thing again. Alright, so this guy might be playing textbook like, very flowcharty. Okay, goes to Kenshin to, uh, to forward one, I think he did. No, yeah, I think he just went straight into. Kencho 3. Yeah, he likes to go go for back twos. So, attempted to go for the heat engager. He gets caught by the line hard into... What is that, 2? Okay, like the combo. Okay, nice. 4-4. Uh, four, four. If the Steve went for the low, he would have got caught. But nice choice. Nice. 3-1. Heat engager. Does the same thing again. Ah, the Steve adapted now. Goes for Flash! Nah, he could have gone for more damage, but it's fine. Uh, if he moved forward slightly, he would have caught him with the Kencho 3. Okay, now he's fishing for the uh, Flash again. Assuming that the C was going to press buns there, but he goes for Lionheart one more time. Goes for the 2, ends up blocking it. I want to see how minus that is. 
minus 13. He could have punished the Steve with either a 1-1 one, one or a down forward 1-4. Uh, should I possess him so that I can show you guys? Uh, let's see. Right there. You do that instead. He goes for a forward two. Sorry, uh, a forward two. <laughs> My brain. Down forward two. 15 frames on startup. He, he was minus 13, so of course he's managed to recover quickly enough to then block the down forward two. He goes for power crush, gets caught. Uh, was he pressing buttons? Yes, he was. He pressed back one. Goes for his power crush, minus 13. What does the Steve do? He doesn't go for the 1-1, one, one, whatever. Goes for a... Is this guy a command grab? It is. 1 plus 2 command grab. Okay, 4-4-2. That's 4-4-2, right? I can't really tell. Because the command hunter seems to be glitching out. Okay, gets caught. Power crush, dead. Okay, he's holding back. Worried about what he's going to do. Press buttons. Isn't that launchable? Okay, never mind. Goes for the command grab again. He's doing the same thing that the Yoshimitsu did to him. Where he went for an attack, then goes for the command grab. Okay. Okay, low. We'll see what is the Yoshi gonna do now. In this situation, I would either decide to flash or just back three or back four to get away. But then again, he went for his homing move. So best choice is to just simply hold the block. Nice, smart. Okay. Okay, he just could have just done back back to cancel out of the heaper so he wouldn't have whiffed. Okay, EC got him back. Goes for two. I'm guessing he's gonna go for two two. He does it again. Ah, he's trying to fish for a setup, I think. Ah, he gets caught. Okay, three one. Again, 3-1. He is safe here. Very safe. Actually, he has frame advantage. So he can frame trap him. He's plus 4. So if he wants to, he can go for flash right here if the Steve presses buttons. Okay, instead goes for his power crush. I would have just went for flash. Nice choice. Uh, okay, he went for it now. He, he whipped the first one. That's the second time. Uh, since he did it too fast... He hit the target while they were still going through the crumple state of falling down. So that's why Steve was still standing and not getting floated into the bound. Goes for the command grab again. This time, and goes for flash. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, decides to go for back three. Smart, but then decides to go to Kencho stance for whatever reason. I'm guessing he wanted to go for three. But... It doesn't really seem like... No, he wanted to go for one. He wanted to go for Kencho one. What he could have done instead, in my opinion, was just do CD two. Or maybe go for CD one. And or just go for down for two. Either of those choices. Okay. Right there when he did the power crush. He could have went for full crush down for four. So let's do it one more time. There we go. Like right there. They could have just done that. If he did it quick enough, because I'm doing it a little too late, he can actually land a counter hit launch. Let me actually just try it. So you guys can see it. Ah, it's not working for some reason. It's too fast, I'm thinking. But if he were at the right time, he could land that full crouch on 44 into a launch. Decided to go for Kencho 2 again, for whatever reason. I mean, he's going to Lionheart. Could have just waited instead and see what the Steve was going to do. Doesn't know the combo. Smart. Okay, goes for Power Crush. 3-1. Yeah, same setup. The, the, the Steve is adapted. I don't know why he's attempting to do it again. He could have just gone and done this instead. He hits the opponent and done that instead. One for the samurai cutter instead. Okay, goes for flash. Goes for rage art. Why? 
I would have just chosen to go for a 3 to delay 1 plus 2 for more damage. Now you lost your rage, which is not a big deal. Because you already have the life lead, so yeah, you catch him off guard with that. Alright, so this player was a lot more adaptable. I, I, I think that's, that's the right word. Or more reflexive, if that makes sense. Where he applied a bit of mind games. Going for the up forward two. Going for the command grab at first. Catching the Steve off guard multiple times with that setup. Then attempting to go for three ones. And utilizing his flash at the right moment. To then catch the Steve off guard. The one thing that I will say is that he seems to be a bit too flowcharty right now. So he's just using textbook uh, strings or setups to try to catch the Steve off guard. Besides that, I think the Yoshimitsu is pretty strong. Uh, it's a pretty strong for the rank that he's currently in now, but I would then advise that the best thing that he could have done was backpedaling a lot more, using meditation stance to try to create space, attempting to use his Dragonfly stance more often to try to go for frame traps or to at least attempt to go for uh, a lot of other setups that he can do as well with Yoshimitsu. Attempting to use Poison Breath to, to, to use it as keep out. Using down forward four to keep for keep out as well instead of just using back two because back two is 14 frames on startup. So I would prefer to use his down forward four which is 12 frames. Uh, I think it's 12 frames. And using full crouch on forward four a lot more often for also playing as keep out. And if they press buttons, especially against the Steve, he would have gotten more counter hits going along the way for combos. And besides that, uh, his wall game needs a little bit of work, just a little bit of work, so then he can then attempt to go for a 3 2 into 1 plus 2 for more damage. And that's about it, I think. Besides that, he can easily get to ruler rank. Uh, but if he fights against stronger opponents at that rank as well, then his setups are not going to work anymore. At least that if he can just go in for the same patterns, they're going to easily adapt to it. So they, he needs to change up and, and do something else right after that. So I think that's it. I showcase two analysis against two players that are playing Yoshimitsu. One player is still adjusting to the character, doesn't understand how to properly combo, doesn't understand how to properly create some space, doesn't even know how to mix up well either. While this player, on the other hand, is a lot more intuitive with his mix-ups, knows how to mix up, but because he was using the same patterns, he was very predictable. So that's the one thing I will say. And, and no offense to both of these players, they're just adjusting to the game, they're just learning the character. So they'll easily get better at what time, just that the first player just needed to apply a lot less of the same patterns as well. Just that he was doing it way too often. Well, this guy actually applied mix-up, but he was playing too flowcharty. That's the only difference. So besides that, they will eventually, the first player will eventually hit ruler ranks, but he will struggle to get past Mighty Ruler, I feel, in my opinion. Well, this guy could definitely hit Mighty, uh, not, not Mighty Ruler, uh, Flame Ruler, at least. So I think that's my video right there. That's my matchup analysis with Yoshimitsu against the two players. If you guys enjoyed and learned something from this, please hit the like button or dislike if you want to dislike. Subscribe to see more of my shit. And stay tuned for more.